Hello, I'm Adela and this is my channel, Suka Cooks. We went to Hawaii a few years back on our 25th anniversary and we discovered Spam Mushies. And we were so amazed by it that when we came back, we just had to try and replicate it. So here is um, the version that we came up with that kind of tastes like what we remember and I've been making the, the Spam Mushies ever since. So here are the ingredients. Two cups of jasmine rice. I have a can of Spam. A quarter cup of uh, soy, soy sauce. Uh, and then a teaspoon of sugar. I have the rice seasonings and you can get these from the Asian market. And the nori, which we're gonna wrap them up. And I have this uh, little device that helps me make the shape of the Spam Mushies. So I'm going to go ahead and cook the rice and the Spam and I will be back. Here we have the Spam. I sliced it in seven uh, slices. So usually that's what I do. But you can cut it in thicker slices, which gives you less, or you can cut them um, in thinner slices, it just depends. I always cut, make seven slices out of it. I cook them on both sides until they're brown. And then I add the teaspoon of sugar into the uh, soy sauce, mix it well, pour it, turn it, and that's it. That's all to it. So I brown them on both sides for a total of about five minutes, give or take. And I mix the sugar into the soy sauce until it's well dissolved. And now I'm going to pour it over the Spam. And then I'm just going to let it cook down for another couple of minutes or so. I'm going to turn it. So it gets the soy sauce mixture on both sides. And this smells fantastic. Just a couple of minutes until the soy sauce is absorbed by the spam. And it gets thickened. Okay, so the rice is cooked, the spam is cooked, and now we're gonna put it, get to the point to put it together. So I split a sheet of the nori, shiny side down, and then I'm gonna put this thing over here. I'm gonna add the rice first. I'm gonna wet the spoon so that the rice doesn't stick to the spoon. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it with about two table, well, two, two and a half tablespoons of rice. Depends on how thick you want them. You can do more or less. This is usually what I do. And then I pick one of these rice seasonings. I add some to it. And then I'll get me a spam. Put it in there, use this part here, which I also dip it in the water, so, and I squeeze it down, lift it, lift it, then I flip one side over and make the edge a little wet with the water, flip the other one over, and there it is, Spam Mushi. And let's do another one, like I said, shiny side down. I'm going to go ahead and dip the spoon in water, get the rice. 
this. And then I'm going to try the other rice seasoning, alternating. My husband loves this. Get a spam in there. Push it down, squeeze it real hard. And this end over, dip your finger, make it wet. And the other side, these are a little longer than what I normally use. And there you have it. So usually when I make a batch like this, my husband has like a couple of them and then I freeze the rest and whenever he feels like having one or he wants um, just a snack on one, get it out of the freezer, microwave it and it tastes just as if you just made it. Now this little device, at, before we um, came across this, we ended up ordering from Amazon but prior to that we didn't know what to use so we we cut the uh, both ends of the can of the spam can and use that as this device which is the same size actually so there's uh, if you can't find it anywhere or you just want to improvise you can do that as well so here we go make one more and pretty much same procedure we have the spam wishy that I made my version. Um, I hope you like the recipe and I hope that you try this recipe. It's really easy, tasty, and worth giving it a try. So let me know if you do try it, if you liked it. Uh, leave me a comment. Otherwise, go ahead and um, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when I upload another video. And uh, thank you for watching.